just because I wear a frock, just because I was born in this male body, I am not going to hide away and let society judge what I should wear, when I should wear it, what I should say, how I should say it. My name is Sarah Jane Baker. I'm a political activist. I'm a journalist. I'm an artist. I play the violin. I taught myself to read and write in prison where I was for 30 years. And until September this year, I was the world's longest serving transgender prisoner. Anyone who thinks that prison is easy is deluded. It's a lot easier if you go to prison in a man's body, you are treated equally to any other prisoner. I was sentenced to seven years for committing an act of extreme violence on a person who in no way deserved it. When people discovered that I was transgender, I become a human punching bag. I took my revenge on one of my attackers. I tried to kill this person and I was sentenced to life imprisonment. If you've had no hormone treatment, you may not be the most photogenic person. Transgender prisoners often can't access makeup, they can't access wigs, they can't get tights, they can't present um, as stereotypically male or female, whatever that means. The organisation which I run, the Trans Prisoner Alliance, we help transgender prisoners obtaining a diagnosis of gender dysphoria to get hormones and eventually gender reassignment surgery. Without this diagnosis, they can get no treatment. So I normally have about 35 people. I'll receive like a letter like this, which is from a transgender prisoner. They will generally tell me um, what they're short of, whether they need, um, whether they need lipstick, eyeshadow, concealer, foundation, or indeed whether they need tights, the, the stuff that they need to present as a female to the gender identity clinic. Anything I can do to raise money to support the transgender prisoner population. I feel obligated to do that. I said I would do it before I left prison. Um, and now I'm out of prison, I'm, I'm doing what I said I would do. time I was in prison I was stabbed, I was raped, I was stripped and had hot water and sugar poured all over me, I've been slashed with razor blades, I lost members of my family, I lost many friends. In the time I was in prison I've known over 60 people who committed suicide. within them was members of the trans community and the gay community. These were some of the kindest, most gentle people that I've ever encountered in my life. They were not all people that were considered dangerous, but many of them were people that you would consider to be damaged. Once I'd been released from prison, I was released with 46 pounds and a handshake. I thought, what am I going to do with the rest of my life? And I was frightened. I was excited. And I was scared. It's not easy being proud of anything when you have a criminal record like mine. I mean, I've left a trail of 
chaos in the wake of my life, in the wake of my journey. But if all I can do is to support the trans prisoner community, that, that, will, that will be an achievement that I will be proud of.